Hello everyone and welcome back to Void Space Alpha. My name is Ollie and today we are continuing our playthrough of Rome 2 Total War on hard difficulty. Thank you so much to the 27,000 people that have subscribed to the channel so far. That is truly amazing. It's only just literally after four months occurred to me how arrogant it sounds when I say thank you to the X thousands of people that have subscribed so far. Like I deserve anything more than the 27,000 people that are already watching and listening. But, you know, thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. Um, if you would like to see the channel grow and do more stuff, I'd love to do more stuff and, and put more time into this. Um, but things you can do to help is to watch the video all the way through like subscribe comment interact do all of that great stuff that the youtube algorithm loves and it will show the video to more people and we'll find some more fans of total war and and have more fun so that would be awesome anyways recap on last episode we started our invasion it's winter at the moment and it's snowing in syria apparently uh, okay the snow's gone um, but um we took on the nabataeans now i'm expecting a counter-attack from these 37 units that are currently parked in petra um in towards jerusalem uh, but we are going to continue our conquest of the Germanic lands over here. Now, I do have to end turn. We spent all of our money last turn and all of our stuff. Here's the fleet that's making its way around Spain up towards the English Channel, just so it's in better position for the future. Bactria seems to be moving in and raiding one of our defensive allies. That's fine. The Nervi, let's see if they've got anything up their sleeve this turn, although I do feel like we have depleted them quite heavily. There are four legions in the Germania area with one more on the way in terms of recruitment. The Nabataeans would like peace. That's a good sign. I'm going to decline it, but it is a good sign. Right, here we go. Here is the big Nabataean counter-attack. So 37 units of, let's be honest, fairly low quality militia type units against our full stack 20 legion 15 egyptian legion the battle resolution says that we should probably defend this um so that's that's pretty good but let's go for the battle of jerusalem is it going to deploy us in a town because that would be pretty pretty dope we could then use our egyptian levy archers to inflict some serious casualties yes it is going to deploy us in a town I don't know where the enemy reinforcements is going to come from, but we did just buy the extra defense upgrade from for the Evercarty. That's quite a tight gap there, actually. So what I think I'm going to do... Oh, these are Eagle cohorts, are they? Yes, they are. They're not even Evercarty. Um, so do you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll put two there, two there. I'm going to overlap them with two units of normal legionaries. And then I'll put two archers behind, like so. Then I'm going to take an eagle cohort over here, chuck another cohort on top, and then I'll take an eagle cohort over here, like so, and chuck another cohort on top, like so. So we have two units of archers over here i have another eagle cohort um you can just go and chill for a minute our general is going to sort of chill in the middle you archers are going to just hang out there and then we'll put two more archers at the back here now how many cohorts do i have left just two legionary and eagle we'll put them at the back and then we will put our cavalry on control group one and we'll place them in an area where we can get out and behind the enemy lines as quickly as possible because what we want to do is disrupt their missile units and their cavalry units and it looks like their cavalry is going to run towards us and their reinforcements is coming from the same direction as their deployment so that will be that'll be good now we're probably going to win that against that desert cavalry there with our legionary cavalry is medium yep yeah. But their general and this desert cavalry over here could potentially pose a bit of a problem. So yeah, we'll keep an eye on that fight over there. And it looks like the desert cavalry is going to just stand there and take some shots from our archers. That is completely fine with me. The general is going round the back. Let's just place those two cohorts over there. That is brilliant. We've already destroyed one unit of the enemies. Let's see if we can get another. Mercenary camel archers. 
Wow, yeah, they're pretty cool. Anyways, we're going to charge into these desert cavalry. They're already having some wavering from these tribes people. Their general here has decided to pause his advance. That's probably a good shout. I'm going to bring my general over here. Yeah, here we go. We'll move our eagle cohort and legionary cohorts into those guys. We're destroying another unit of cavalry. These camel archers are going to break off, so I just want to keep an eye on those as they run towards the enemy lines. We'll probably break off ourselves, actually, and then go and have a look at the main battle line over here. Now, I'm going to take one cohort, place them back over here, because it looks like we're not getting attacked in this direction. So that's probably a better use of our units. Tribes people are wavering over here. And it looks like our archers are just firing into those areas. Right, the mercenary cavalry archer... Uh, sorry, cavalry. The mercenary camel archers are harassing us. So I'll attempt to chase those down. Just keeping an eye whether or not some of these melee units decide to get involved in that decision or not. Big blob of cavalry doesn't move as quickly as I would potentially like it to. This general over here is inflicting some serious cav uh, cav cavalries, casualties on our Evercati cohort. Um, but, um, but alas, I think we're, that's a battle we're going to win. Everything's going okay at the moment. Just keeping an eye on these guys. Because if these spearmen catch them, even though they're levies... That could be problematic. We're going to take out the camel archers like so. And we're basically tying up four or five units over here that are chasing us and not contributing to the main battle. So let's continue to defend. Enemy general. Enemy general has died. That is fantastic news. These Nabataean noble cavalry haven't broken yet though, but that should instill a rout, especially in the lesser disciplined units of the enemy army. Now, they are bringing quite a lot of people to bear on us, but luckily they are just standing still, waiting to engage, which is allowing us to fire down on them with the Egyptian archers. These auxiliary archers have great ammunition capacity, yet the general's bodyguard unit is going to waver. Okay, yeah, we've got four units over here that are potentially going to try and make contact with this Eagle cohort. What's my units looking like over here? We actually haven't taken that many casualties. The primary source of casualties, it looks like, has been this particular unit of Legionary Cav. But we can charge into the back of these skirmishing units, even the playing field a little bit over there. And we can use our general to go and take out these tribes people over in this direction. We have some desert levies. In fact, let's go and take out those guys. There we go. Yep, our legionary cavalry cutting down a lot of those skirmishing troops. Yes, our general's under attack. That's fine. That is to be expected. He's taken four casualties so far, but he has destroyed a unit of tribes people. So he can now come back. I don't want him to sit there and slog it out with hundreds of desert levies. Especially seeing as they've got shields and they're probably not the worst units in the game. Anyways, these horsemen now need to break away. Because they were about to meet the spear tips of those levy spearmen. But instead, let's get them charging in to those skirmishing units over yonder. Right, the main slog... Let's have a look. Yeah, it's plenty of death and destruction going on here. Look at that. Right, okay, so that's another skirmishing unit destroyed there. 37 units against one legion. You know, not to be sniffed at. That can easily turn with bad management. Okay, now one of our archers has actually finished using all of its ammunition. That is interesting. Let's switch those out and put another unit of archers facing that direction. 
We're going to use our cavalry to charge down this group of tribes people. And then a breakout may be required. These guys, this eagle cohort, completely fresh, completely unmolested. 152 out of a maximum of 160 men. It looks like my guys have just sprung to attention as these levy spearmen cross cross their arcs, but they might just run past. Don't know what to do if they run past. They might get behind my lines. Anyways, that's another unit destroyed. Let's get some legionary cohorts hopping back in this direction. And then let's bring our cavalry over here. I mean, look at the exodus of men that are fleeing the battlefield here. Just absolutely binning it in the face of superior Roman might, technologically advanced, armoured soldiers. And yet yeah, everybody that has charged in that direction has died. Right, let's use our Eagle Cohort to crash into this unit. There are 122, but they're already wavering. But that should not be a difficult unit to destroy. And then, yeah, let's use our legionary cohort here. Can we get a peeler throw in? Or are they out of ammo? They're not out of ammo. Oh, there is a peeler throw. Good. They did no damage with it. But there was a peeler throw. Okay. Right. We've got mercenary hillmen. What do they have? Axes. And there's a few more tribes people. But I'm just wondering if I just move my cohorts forward. Like so. Will I be able to take out these spearmen? And if so, the cavalry can just mop up absolutely everything else. Let's bring that cohort back there. Right, now they're attempting to use their desert levies to close some gaps. I'm just going to reorganize my stuff. Right, let's use all of our archers to fire on these spearmen. Those guys are going to break. I've not got much faith in these desert levies either. Yeah, the vast majority of those units are breaking now. Our archers have opened up in this general direction. Yeah, that is the last of the units. There we go. And we can probably run down quite a few of them. But uh, but what's the point? It's a decisive victory anyway. We lost 233 men to their 3,577. That is an incredible KD. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. Um, right, okay. Let's have a look. So, uh, yeah, I definitely... I was just looking for an Occupy button there. It just threw me. I'm going to kill the captives, I think. Take the money. Right, that leaves the way open for Petra. The Armenians, probably still expanding. There was Armenians and Galatians over in Turkey that... Um, okay, so we've got a mission issued. So, yeah, the Armenians and the Galatians over in Turkey have been building up a little empire. Raise a settlement or trade route belonging to the following faction, Nabatea. I don't think that's going to be a mission that's going to be achievable on the basis that we're probably going to destroy all of their stuff. Let's continue to use the 15th Legion, Egypta, or Egyptia, to cut down the last of these two forces. I'm going to auto-resolve these battles. There we are, and we'll kill the captives. And we'll use you to cut down the last of them. That's going to give me 85% of my forces remaining. I do like those little dueling animations. Okay, they survive. But I do get a couple of promotions in the meantime. We'll go for damage on everything. 5% uh, wounding agents in self-defense. And we'll get the general buff there. So we are at 20 units. I'm just going to give couple of units some upgrades and uh, yeah look at um let's look at this map mode right look at the armenians and the galatians they've just been carving out their own little empires and competing with each other roads just you know quietly being roads part of the province of asia so we're gonna have to conquer that at some point 
But anyways, let's continue to push in over here. So there's a 20 on 20 legion block over here. And I believe this legion now, the second, the reformed second that has some ballista is, um, is making its way, uh, or will be making its way, sorry, further north now that we have that. Our income has gone down to an absolute snail's pace, but we have raised a lot more forces. Uh, we have two legions over here that are ready to begin besieging the Nervi. So I will just move those over. We've got a river crossing here, which is going to impede our ability to cross. But it looks like we've actually got an ambush that we can spring here. So look, that is where I'm going to leave it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it massively. And next episode, we'll be carrying on with this ambush. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, do all of that great stuff that really pleases the overlords at YouTube with the algorithm. And I will see you in the next episode.